a great use of this technology has been the 2019 deployment of three interrogators and 153 Fabry-Perot accelerometers to measure and monitor an elevated rail system that is a post-tension structure for wire brakes. The monitoring of, this, of these wire brakes has been enabled by the sensitivity of the Fabry-Perot accelerometer. While monitoring for wire breaks, we have to be aware in this particular application that there may be other sources of noise, uh, such as uh, live passing trains. And what we're seeing in the top left plot here um, is, is a, uh, um, a graphic of the uh, energy received by the accelerometers as a function of frequency in the y-axis, as a function of time in the x-axis. Um, the vertical lines that you see there are simulated um, wire break events, uh, again, done with a, um, uh, what's called a Schmidt hammer, which is uh, like a, like a spring-loaded center punch, uh, in that, that, that white mass that we see in the lower frequencies is actually, um, that is the, the presence of a passing train and the vibrations that were detected by the accelerometer. So to first order, it's very easy to see um, visually where those detected events were, um, and, and further, the accelerations were monitored by the optical accelerometer. When that data was received and stored, it can actually be converted uh, to an audio file and played back. So what I'm gonna play now um, is an audio reproduction of the wire break events, as well as the passing train, um, as recorded by the optical Fabry Pro accelerometer. Okay. So it's, it's very clear there, uh, even with your ears or your eyes, or um, naturally follow us through, through some um, uh, detection algorithm, um, that, that these detection events can be, can be uh, or these wire breaks can be detected in the presence of noise. Uh, the plot on the bottom is just a further uh, filtering um, that allows for a very easy threshold detection to identify where those events were. Um, as an added bonus, while we were monitoring for uh, detection events, um, uh, one of the local engineers noted that we had captured a, um, what's called a wheel hammer event. So that's a flat spot on, on a wheel on a train. And you can see that as broad spectrum periodic noise uh, that uh, correlates directly with the diameter of the wheel uh, and the rate at which the train was traveling. Uh, so it's really additional benefit um, that can be derived from, a, from an instrumented structure uh, in terms of monitoring health of the, uh, of the assets that travel over it. 